Wearing tops gave me those clippers for the first time. I was excited when he put them in my hands. I had a wide comb, short comb, a hairbrush, and a few guards. There were some hate that we had to cut that off. The Factotum is hailed as a dynamic new soul opera set in a black barber shop on Chicago's South Side. It blends classical singing with diverse musical styles, shifting from gospel and funk to trap and hip hop to classic barbershop quartet and R&B. And it was all created by 2023 Grammy winner and Chicago baritone Will Liverman and hip hop producer and multi-instrumentalist DJ King Rico. So here to tell us more is director and co-book writer Rajinja Maharaj. Good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to be with you. Oh, I'm looking forward to hearing more about this. Give us some of the backstory on this production and why it's so important right now. Well, it's so important because it really uplifts uh, the beautiful community, which is the south side of Chicago, and particularly black barbers and beauticians who have for a very long time been the stewards that keep our culture and keep our community moving along with the black churches. And it started because Will had this idea, a Grammy Award winner, uh, Will Lieberman just had this idea of like what, you know, black community is so centered on barber and beauty shops and why has there not been in the world of opera an opportunity to uplift and tell our story. I think it's amazing and especially again in that scope of in the world of opera, uh, a comedy here paying tribute to black joy and redefining everything an opera can be. What has the audience feedback been? It's been explosive. It has been so exciting to see uh, brown and black bodies from the south side of Chicago come and represent a new force and new dynamic uh, in the lyric audience. To see the kids of color who grew up with hip hop as one of their first languages, so excited to see it in this form. It's just been a dream come true for all of us. And particularly during Black History Month, when we want to uplift the voices of our ancestors and our heroes and sheroes. Yeah, and talk a little bit about the team that you're leading because it's uh, very diverse. What does this mean to you personally to set out on this type of operation, really, to put this production on? Well, I mean, it's a dream come true. This is one of the first BIPOC creative teams, the designers uh, in the history of uh, the lyric and also just in opera in general. Uh, they all bring their A game. And for me personally, as a uh, BIPOC director, to know that this store has opened and it has been historically closed to storytellers like myself for so long, it really is a, a moment where the movement and the magic are meeting, and I could not be more proud to be part of it. Oh, the movement and the magic are meeting. I love that. I'm hearing that some dates are already sold out, so how can people that are hearing this, and I know are going to want to catch you all, uh, actually see you? Well, you can go to the Lyric, uh, their website, and visit, and definitely find out, or also the Harris Theater, um, and see what tickets are available. It's really captured the heart of the city. It's the most talked about show, um, because it really represents the truth of the South Side and uplifts the average man and woman, like August Wilson did in his work, as the heroes that they should be. Rajendra, I'm so excited that you all are bringing this here to Chicago. I, I wish you all the best. Please pass along my congratulations to Will as well for the new Grammy. Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Best of luck. Thank you.